Hey guys, Tammy Trier. Day two of our November 30 day gratefully prepared challenge. I'm going to wait a little bit here and give you guys a chance to pop on and uh, chat with me today. It's nice to get to know you guys. I'm going to grab my tea back here. When you guys jump on here, regardless if you watch this after the fact or live, um, share with me where you're from and uh, share with me your the thing that you're grateful for today. Today, um, I am grateful for my faith. I'm very open with my faith. Um, it's not something that I choose to shove down other people's throat, but I speak openly about it because... I feel that through my faith, we have overcome so much in on our homestead and in our lives. We've we've had a lot of uh, really uh, rough valleys that we've had to travel through over the last couple years, and I just feel that um, I couldn't imagine my life without my faith and without putting God first. So I that's what I'm grateful for today, and that is a very huge part of my life and part of my homestead, um, and I wanted to share that. Additionally, um, I don't know if you know this, but this is just one of those useless uh, facts that I'm going to share today. Um, I'm reading a great book right now, which I will share with you later in the month. Um, but did you know that doodling, um, even while you're working, you know, as kids when we were doodling, we were, you know, had our fingers smacked and were, were told we weren't paying attention. But actually, when you doodle, it causes you to be more creative and uses different parts of your brain that activates the parts of your brain you want to activate when you're trying to uh, come up with... Ha! Huh, we're back. I moved things around a little bit here to see if I would get a better connection. I see somebody's out there. Share with me where you're from and what you're grateful for today. Now, I was, I was sharing with you about doodling. Doodling actually um, makes your ba brain more creative. And one of the things I have found in my faith walk is that um, I purchased an Inspire Bible last year, and it has been the absolute best thing I've ever done. It is the NLT version, and it enables you to um, basically doodle and... Uh, color in the pages as you go. So it's been really helpful for me because it really helps me retain things. I have been doodling while I'm working as well, which helps me to be more creative in what I do with Treyer Wilderness and our other businesses. So I just thought I would pass that on. And, and like I said, um, my faith is just something that I, I wanted to share because it's what I'm grateful for today. Now, as far as the preparedness side of things today... What I want to share with you is that it's really important when you are embracing a more self-reliant or a more preparedness lifestyle is that you you don't overdo it and try to dive in and do everything at once because you're going to hit overwhelm. It's just a given. It's like that with anything in our lives. So what I want to encourage you to do today is to make a list. Make a list of the things that you want to learn, the skills that you want to have, Hi, David Lee. Good to have you. Thank you. And glad to have you joining me from Florida. Oh, awesome. Awesome. And thank you for sharing that, David. Um, but creating lists of um, how you're going to attack your preparedness avenues is really important because it keeps you on task, it gives you something to work off of, and it keeps you from hitting overwhelm. So in addition to creating a list of the things you want to accomplish, the things you want to learn. Um, it's a great way to check things off the list as you go, but then also to have a to-do list. And um, part of being on a homestead or just living in life today is not only having lists and checklists, but also having a budget, which we will talk about later. But I have um, preparedness handouts available on our website when you subscribe to our newsletter. And you can simply do that by going to tryourwilderness.com slash newsletter. And um, as far as the Inspire Bible, if someone's interested in that, you can go to tryourwilderness.com slash inspire. The information is in the notes below this video. And for those of you that missed yesterday's video, the purpose of the 30-day challenge is that we all focus on what we're grateful for 
And you can go back and watch the previous videos if you've missed them, if you're coming in midstream, whatever the case may be. Today is only day two, so we've got a good ways to go. And yesterday I challenged everybody to add um, physical activity to your day-to-day -day routine. I just came back in from walking the dogs. Uh, it's been really chilly here. We're expecting a good bit of snow coming, which I'm excited about. I love the snow, and so do our dogs. And it's great for hunting season. We still have our deer season out here, and that's how we feed our family. So excited about that. Just makes it a little bit more interesting, and I just love being out there. So um, the 30-day challenge, I want you to join me. I don't want to to just be doing this by myself. What you can do is p put posts out, put your pictures out on Instagram, and, and tag us. Tag us with uh, pound sign Trayer Wilderness and also pound sign Gratefully Prepared. Because part of being grateful in life, um, the more grateful you are, the more you see the small blessings, even when you're going through the storms. And like I said, we've gone through some heavy duty storms here, but we never lost sight of our blessings and what was happening around us. And that's important. We can't go through life with blinders on, regardless how awful things are that we're, that we're living, you know, at times. So notice the blessings, be aware of them and be grateful for them because the more grateful you are, the more happy you are. And when you're happy, you can accomplish things. There's uh, in, in our family, our, 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 one of our big sayings is that nothing's impossible and it's not you know you set your mind to something and you set your heart to something you know you can make things happen and that's what I want to see happen this month I want to see you be grateful for the things that are happening in your life regardless how big or small and I want you to add a level of preparedness to your life every day because when you're happy and when you're grateful, you can also add new habits. And it's really important, I feel, for us to um, make it through life and be prepared because we never know what's around the next corner. And the more prepared we are, the better we are to fare through the things that are coming. So um, Anita says, happy people aren't more grateful. Grateful people are happier. <laughs> yes. And it's very true. It's very true. And um, we need to we need to notice these things. Like I said, so many people walk through life with blinders on and miss the the most amazing things that are happening right in front of their eyes. And I don't want to I don't want to live my life that way. So I'm encouraging you to join me. I would love for you to post things, your photos on Instagram or on Facebook, Twitter. And make sure you tag us. Um, in the notes below, you can find the page that represents um, this challenge. And if you aren't on, um, you know, the other channels and you don't feel like posting on Facebook, you can just post right there on, on the blog post on our website at treyerwilderness.com. And you can go there by just going to treyerwilderness.com slash G dash P. But what are you guys grateful for? Share that with me today. I would love to know. Even those of you that are watching this later, please share with me what you're grateful for. And, and start figuring out how you can be more prepared in your life. What are some things that you can do? And if you're at a point where you don't really know what you can do, stay with me for the next 30 days because I'm going to challenge you and I'm going to give you ideas and tips on ways you can be more, simply just be more prepared on a regular basis. On our homestead, one of the biggest things we do is that every day we are preparing for tomorrow or we are preparing for our future. So, you know, what we might be doing today might uh, be something that's going to help us in six months. As I mentioned yesterday, we went six and a half months last year without an income and we never went without food. And that wasn't because we were buying anything. We had $9.95 to our name and we were able to eat every day like kings and queens because of the way we we preserve our food and think ahead. And it's really important to practice what you preach. And that's what we do here. And that's why I'm doing this challenge. I want to share this with you. I want you guys to be more prepared for what our future may hold and be prepared with the skill sets you need to exist. They're life skills. And it's not something that you necessarily have to use every day like we do, but it's good to have in your arsenal of knowledge. So that is what I have to share with you for today. Like I told you, these might be short and sweet, but we're going to get through this and we're going to be uh, much better on the other side of these 30 days because you're going to have skills and things to, um, you know, utilize on a daily basis. So get out, be active today, uh, share with me what you are grateful for, and start making some lists. And if you want to grab those uh, preparedness worksheets that I have on our website, you can go to treyerwilderness.com newsletter. You guys have a great day and be blessed.